So there's a mnemonic term for the carpal bones of the hand called some lovers take positions that they can't handle. So going over these, this is your scaphoid, this is your lunate, this is your triquitrum, back here, which sometimes fuses with your, quitri your triquitrum, is your pisiform bone, and over here, you have your trapezium, you have your trapezoid, your capitate, and your hamate. So some lovers take positions that they can't handle. Scaphoid, lunate, triquitrum, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. Now going over our metacarpals, we always go from medial to lateral, so this is our pollux or our thumb. So we have metacarpal 1, metacarpal 2, metacarpal 3, metacarpal 4, metacarpal 5. Now you'll notice over here that the pollux does not have a medial phalanx, so it only has metacarpal 1, proximal phalanx number 1, and distal phalanx number 2. Now you'll notice that all of the rest of the phalanx have three, a proximal, a medial, and a distal phalange. So this would be proximal phalange number two, medial phalange number one, distal phalange number two, and so forth. Proximal phalange number three, medial phalange number three, distal two, I'm sorry, number two, because our pollux doesn't have one, my error, and distal phalange number three. And again, Wait, four. So, so. This is one or two? Yeah, because the pollux does not have a medial. Remember the different... Do you remember that? Okay. Me... I can start over. That's fine. No, no, keep Just going, keep going. going. No. Are we still this, on thumb? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. <laughs> And then this would be prox this would be proximal phalange number four, medial phalange number four, three. <laughs> I keep forgetting to count that one less. Distal phalange number four, proximal phalange number five, medial phalange number four, and distal phalange number four. And that covers our carpals, our metacarpals. Distal number five. Sorry, distal number five, and our phalanges. And that's it for our video. Yay.